All right, Dell, would you show me how a 52 year old man does this? With one leg? <laughs> Kidding. Thanks. <laughs> I'm an asshole, but not that big. All right. So, I'm pretty sure he was further back than that. Yeah, you want to scoot a little bit farther back to where you feel comfortable. Okay. Yep. Here. And your feet can be on an angle. Yep. Yeah, it's good. And it's yeah, it's right right about there where the ball of your. All right. Manipulate it. Yeah. Just gotta pay attention to your angle of your foot, so when you're coming down on the negative, that you don't. Rack it. Rack, re -rack it. See, right now this is a great learning curve. What he's done right now is he's in the middle of his shoe. So what that does is it takes his manipulation of this away. If he were to push more with his toes, and I'll rack it for him, come a little bit further down. Now, you can roll it, push it up. Yeah, see that? This is his very first try in this. Now when he comes forward, he just knows he has to keep his heel down a little bit. Keep your heel down and keep your, yep. If your toes are up, your heels are down. So keep your toes higher, there it is. Kind of neat, huh? Yeah, I like these. These are cool. And it's not, it seems as structured, but it's not really. His core is all over the place. Anything new is better. You can have to straighten those legs, though. There it is. Straighten those legs. Thank you. Can this be done with one leg? It's possible. I want to try it. Try it again. I want to try it. I'm going to try it. Come on. Find new ways to hurt ourselves. This is fun. Come on, Dale. Okay, I want you to remember one thing before you quit right now. Contest. You're going to be on stage. This is pre-contest training. And I'm going to add some weight. Go. One. Come on. Two. Cool thing about Smith's machine, I can add weight on one side. It doesn't make a difference. Come on. Come on you, you fight right now, Dale. You fight. You fight. You fight like your wife is watching. Come on. Like this is your next big paycheck. And by the way, you're competing against some other man right now who's doing this somewhere else in the world that wants what you want. Yeah. That was awesome. Heart rate is 158, 157, 156. That is a session. That is what it looks like after you train legs. That's what it's supposed to look like. The better shape you get in, this is the trick. The better shape you get in with the heart rate monitor, you have to try harder. For instance, quick instance, uh, doing my cardio, keep my heart rate at 135 in my fat burning zone. I'm running on a number five for the first six months of my training. I'm dead center of my fat burning zone, killing it. Then all of a sudden I realized, wait a second, I have to run on a number seven now to keep my heart rate at 135. I had two perceptions of that. A, that kind of sucks because I have to do way more to burn fat. You know, this stuff's hard. At a certain point, it's, it's effort, right? It becomes hard. <sighs> And two, I'm in way better shape. So it's kind of cool, right? That you are getting in better shape. That's a sense of accountability. You can do more with your heart rate less. That means great shape.